So you ran a Facebook ad and it was an epic fail. No worries, it happens to us all. When I first started running Facebook ads, a few of them were failures. Actually, a lot of them were failures, but I'm much better at it now, I promise. <laughs> a lot of the time when you're first starting out, you're going to spend money and not really make anything back. And that's okay. What you're learning is what doesn't work, which in turn is going to set you up correctly for what does work. Now, I'm going to go over a few things as to why your Facebook ad might be failing and what you can do to remedy the situation. Possibility number one, your ad spend is too low. Now, I get asked often, how much should I spend on a Facebook ad? Unfortunately, there's no specific answer for that. It's more so along the lines of what your budget will allow. But that being said, it also depends on how long you're running the ad. So for example, and this might require a little math, so bear with me, very, very little math. If you run a Facebook ad for, let's say, five days, and you make the budget $5, you're essentially giving Facebook a dollar a day. Now, that's not really much to accomplish much with. You might want to up that ad spend. For example, I personally run ads on a weekly basis, sometimes bi-weekly, and some ads even run monthly. Again, trial and error, seeing what works for my specific business. But for you, what you might want to do is maybe go as high as $10, $15, $20 for a five-day period and see what type of results that gives you with regard to the ad that you're running that isn't working. Possibility number two too short of an ad life. Now, it ordinarily takes about 72 hours for Facebook to actually stick your ad into the algorithm. I know it sounds weird, but that's what it does. So give it 72 hours to at least do its thing, figure out what's working, what's not working, so that it can properly serve the ad to your target audience. So ideally, this means you wanna be running ads for longer than three days at a time. Possibility number three, bad ad copy. Now, not everyone can be a talented ad copywriter. That's okay, I understand. But what you might wanna do is audit your ad. Take a look at it from afar, maybe ask five or six friends or maybe even two or three to look at your ad and ask them what they think about the copy. Is it alluring? Is it easy to read? Does it have a CTA call to action? Does it do the things that you want the ad to do? Now, if you're a real estate agent, you might want to avoid putting all the different numbers and information about the listing in the actual ad copy because sometimes that can be very distracting to read. Auditing your ad copy can actually be very helpful and you never know, someone amongst your friends group might be an exceptional ad copywriter. And in that case, you stumbled upon a free gold mine. <laughs> Possibility number four, poor image quality or poor video quality. Now, Facebook does a pretty okay job of mapping out what the specs are for the sizing of the image, how many pixels they should be, all those things, and even the orientation and um, specs for video. Decent job. But you need to do a better job of paying attention to it. Now, go back, audit your ad, and see, is the image quality the problem or the video quality? That could very well be it. A lot of the time when people see a pixelated or blurry or just the camera phone picture, they're just going to keep scrolling. They're not going to stop or bother to read anything. So get that fixed. Possibility number five, your target audience is either undefined or too specific. Now we talked about auditing your ad. What I want you to do is go back and look at what exactly did you target? Did you just target the entire United States? Because if you run a local business, that's not working to your advantage. And if you only targeted one zip code in your entire area, that might be working to your disadvantage as well because there might not be enough people in that zip code to serve the ad to. And you also would want to figure out if you chose people who live here or people just visiting. 
but we'll talk about that in another video. Overall, there are a number of reasons why your Facebook ad could be failing. These are just five simple reasons, but in the end, what you want to do is really just try things, see if they work, stop them if they're not working after about, you know, after the 72 hour mark and take it from there, you know, refresh, serve up a new ad, see where it goes. If you're running Facebook ads, I'd love to know what results are you getting? What ads are you using? What's working? What's not working? I'd love to have a back and forth conversation with you all. Please leave a comment or DM me with any questions that you might have or any video topics that you can think of that you would love for me to cover. As always, I would like to thank you for making it to the end of this video. It means a lot to me and I don't take your attention lightly. I appreciate it. And if there's anything that I can do to help you in your business, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer questions. Just shoot me a DM or a comment.